to the Gamal Yala out of Great Millstone, Atlanta. Want to give all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to all the Akim that are pushing out this truth and sincerity. It's a quick lesson and it's going to be centered around faith and prayer. All right, now these are two key aspects to the walk, you know, uh, in this truth. All right, uh, to your walk in this truth. All right, those are two very, very vital aspects is faith and prayer. Now, um, who do we have faith in? We have faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, and we have faith that He's going to deliver us from this current situation and our current captivity, you know, and, um, you know, that's key because otherwise, I mean, what do you, what are you fighting for? What are you making videos for? What are you going to camp for? Uh, you know, what do you, all, all the works that you're doing, are you doing it in vain? No, you know, if, if you have faith, that's not in vain, all right, because the Lord is a, is a rewarder of good works, all right? So, like I said, if you have faith, then um, if you have faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, then then you know you you're gonna um, you're gonna continue to do these things that please Him. Now uh, let's go ahead and get a precept. Uh, one second. Okay. All right, this is Hebrews 11, and I'll start at 1. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things seen not. That's right, uh, the evidence of things not seen. All right, so it's the evidence of things not seen. And we have plenty of evidence that this thing is real, okay? The Lord shows us many signs in our daily walk that, that you know, that give us assurance, because that's what that word substance means. It means assurance. So faith is the assurance of things hoped for. Which, what are we hoping for? We're hoping in our deliverance. We're hoping in the downfall of this kingdom. We're hoping in, uh, in the downfall of Esau, the so-called white man. And we're hopeful uh, in, the, in the kingdom. And in, in living an eternal life. Now it says the evidence of things not seen. That's right. So this is the evidence. We, we're not able to physically see Yahweh Shai or, or, you know, we, we can't see miracles right now happening, all right? But, well, really, we do see miracles, Salakia. We do see miracles, just not not the same, you know, healing and, and stuff like that that Yahweh Shai was doing. But we will. We will pretty soon, Lord willing, if we're of that number. Now, it says, for the evidence of things not seen. That's right. So... That's what faith is all about. We don't, like I said, we don't, Yahweh Shai is not here with us physically, all right? But we know him, all right? We know him through what? Through through the scriptures. We know his spirit, all right? Because when Yahweh Shai departed, departed from the apostles and the disciples, what did he say? He said, you will have my Holy Spirit. I'll leave you with the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, all right? It says, through faith, we under, it's like it. Verse 2, for for by it, el the elders obtained a good report, which our elders have obtained a good report through what? Through faith, all right? Through faith, that's why, the, that's why they did, you know, put, you know, you know, so much work into all those years of teaching and, and edifying, you know? It's through faith. Verse 3, through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of the Most High, so that... Things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. That's right. So the things that are seen were not made by, by, you know, just carnal, carnal, the, the physical. Everything was made, uh, you know, spiritually. You know, even when you go through science, you know, so-called science or whatever. All right, they, what do they tell you? That They tell you that everything goes back to energy. Everything is made up of what? Atoms and energy and, and, you know, so on and so forth. Same thing with this world. That's basically what this is saying, that everything that was framed, it says, so the things which are seen were not made of the things which do appear. That's right. So a lot of these, you know, energy or 
rather the spirit is not seen okay everything was made through uh through the spirit okay through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai all right I'll I'll skip to verse six but without faith it is impossible to please him for he hath cometh to the Most High for he that cometh to to the Most High must believe that he is which that's his word that I mean it's like it that's the that's the meaning of his name is he is or he exists. You know, he is to be. And that he is rewarder of them that diligently seek him. That's right. So, really, faith is a gift as well. Because it says, without faith, is it, impo it, it is impossible to please him. So, it's a gift. Just The Lord gave us faith to please him. And at the same time, it, it pleases us to have faith. Because it's a gift. Alright? So, it, it's a it's a it's an exchange, you know. It says, for he that comes to the Most High must believe that he is. That's right. So you have to believe on the Most High. And it says, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. And the Lord is going to reward men for their faith. Okay. Now, faith is not something, you know, faith is not something that everyone has an equal amount of. Some brothers may have, you know, more, more faith than, than another brother, you know. But, you know, just like uh, any any other gift, you have uh, uh, different portions, okay? All right, so so faith is a very, very vital thing in this, in this walk. Now, if you don't have enough faith, then what do you do? You pray, okay? Pray for more faith. You know, a good prayer to pray for more faith is, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Sap, Laya, I'm a one, which means... Uh, Yawasap means add or add to, and uh, Yawasap la ya, add to me, la to ya me, add to me, I'm a one, which is faith. Okay, so Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah Yawasap la ya, I'm a one. You know, add to me, please add to me faith, Babu Kusha. You know, Babu Kusha meaning please. You know, so, so, you know, that's one prayer that, that we should constantly send up, you know, that the Lord continues us in this thing, you know. All right, so let's go to Luke. We're going to go to Luke 17. Luke 17 and 6. And the Lord said... If ye had faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye might say unto the sycamine tree, Be thou plucked up by the root, and be thou planted in the sea, and it shall obey you. Alright? So, faith, you, you can do anything with faith, man. You know? You can make anything as possible through the power of Yahweh Hashem Shai. And if you have faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, then they're, then they're going to... um. They're gonna, uh, you know, give you give you power to do these things, you know, because that's where we get our power from. They're the source, okay, of our power. All right, and it says if you have faith of a grain of a mustard seed, now, a mustard seed is very very small, so all you need is just a little bit of faith, man. Okay. In another scripture, I think it's Matthew. All right, but it says if you have a faith of a grain of a mustard seed. You will uh, say to this mountain, move, and it will move. So you, you'll be able to move mountains, man. You know, meaning you'll, you'll basically uh, be limitless, man. Because through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, this, this, it's limitless, you know, our potential, okay? All right, so let's go to uh, James... All right, uh, let's see, I'll start, James 5 and 16, it says, Confess your faults to one another and pray for one another that ye may be healed. 
The effectual per fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. See, so the, the effective fervent prayer, meaning unceasing, of a righteous man availeth much. So it, it it's it's profitable, man. You know, you know it, it, and you have to have faith that the Halbashim Yashai is gonna do it. Because if you don't, if you're just praying, you know, praying without faith, really, really, they go hand in hand. Because if you have faith, you're gonna pray, and you're gonna pray if you have faith. So it's 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 a, a, a it's an it's an equal thing, you know. Uh, 17, Elias was a man subject to like passage as passions are, as we are, and he prayed earnestly that it might not rain, and it rained not in the earth by the space of three years and six months. All right? And he prayed again, and the heaven gave rain, and the earth brought forth her fruit. See, so this is an example of a man of the Lord who had faith, and he prayed, and, and the Lord basically uh uh heard him you know and the lord is going to hear us as long as we have that same amount of faith okay as long as we know that yahweh shai is going to 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 be in our best interest okay as long as we know that he exists number one okay and yahweh shai is the deliverer and and they're they're in our best interest you know now I'll get one more and then close up. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm just getting up here. All right. Now this is Matthew seven and seven. All right. Matthew seven and seven. It says, "Ask and it shall be given you. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be." And that it shall be opened, opened unto you. For everyone that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth. And to him that knocketh it shall be opened. See, and, and and that takes faith as well. Okay, it says, ask and you and it shall be given you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. So it takes it takes faith to even uh, ask. Even asking requires faith, okay? It says knock. Even knocking requires faith, okay? You know? And it says, Every, for everyone that asketh, receive it. So just like I said, if you pray for faith, the Lord is going to give you faith, man. If you Anything that you ask for in the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, He's going to grant it to you, okay? If it's to better yourself spiritually, of course he's going to give that to you, you know? All right, so, uh, you know, that was pretty much it. That was the main point, uh, you know, just focusing on faith and prayer, you know, and those are two things that are very, very vital uh, aspects, especially into the, uh, with the times that we're going into. You know, we're going to have to uh, uh, live off of faith, you know, and, and, you know, our faith is going to be put to the test as well very soon. So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakaq, Wadash, double honors to the apostles and elders.